One of the most common requests that I get from you guys is where can I find the resources that you have put together? So I, I had them in different pages and everything. So what I decided and worked these last two weeks is to put in, to put them all in this in a single page. So I'm going to share the link with you in my newsletter, but also for those that will be watching in YouTube, I'm going to share it in the description of the video. So first of all, the you can find the, the previous ones that I had created, the broadcast industry directory, the talent board, uh, my 58 items that I checked before doing and after a production day. And then I added two more resources. One that it's like industry resources, that, the one that we already discussed in a couple of editions ago on my newsletter. And it's we are creating a depository of resources, so of documents that we can share and you guys can use as inspiration also to learn more about big productions in terms of sports. I'll try to get more information or documents about other areas of the broadcasting industry, not only sports, but in the meantime, I added some camera plans that I have. So you can see, for instance, this one, which is one of the biggest productions that I ever worked with, along with uh, I uh, welcome but this is Copa America Centenario that we did back in 2016. Um, just a disclaimer, all these documents have been made public public before, so that's why I'm sharing them. If these ones were not public, I would not share them. So this one was a 26 camera with a very nice camera plan. Then we have CAF, then we have some Nations League finals of CONCACAF, some more CAF. Then the Asian, FC Asian Cup Qatar 2023 that a friend sent me, the camera plan for the FIFA World Cup in 2018, the group stage, and the um, uh, round of 16 onwards. The last uh, FIFA World Cup in Australia, New Zealand, the camera plan. Then a, a camera plan of La Liga, uh, a Real Madrid. A uh, real bet is at Barcelona game, a uh, camera plan of the final of the Champions League in Istanbul, another uh, UEFA Champions League match in, in, in this case in Sevilla. Uh, this is the camera plan of the Women's Gold Cup that we are doing in, right now and the different tiers that we have for it. This one is for the uh, a game of the of Liga MX produced by Media Pro, so you can see the the level of production. So this is this one, and then you can find this this page that it's very interesting. It's elements for camera plan, and here you have the basic elements that you need to create a camera plan. Uh, they are on a PowerPoint format, so you can play with the PowerPoint and move and move them move them around. I think this is downloadable. This one was shared by my good friend Jairo Gonzalez from Zero Fractal Media Pro. He shared them with me, and these are public domain. You can share them, you can use them, and you can download them. So to create your own, whatever you are. And then the other resource that I put here is a broadcasting glossary. So why? Because one of the the first time that I went ah, into an international production, one of the biggest challenges that I found is that the way that we call some of the positions or some of the processes in certain countries is very different to others. So this one is only in English yet. We're going to add some Spanish definitions. Uh, but here, for instance, we added 30 positions and they're common names in the U.S. and the U.K. in this case. So everything from uh, Vision Mixer Technical Director to Gallery Director, Control Room Director. I would love to have your feedback in terms of what do you think about these definitions and what could be better. And then, let me close this one. We have others here that are, in some cases, um, repeated from the from the other uh, uh Part of the document, but they are here. These ones are a little bit uh, more um, into detail. So you have here not only about positions, but uh, about key processes that we have. And this is important so you could understand if you go uh, abroad or you have to work with somebody from other country. These are similar terms or ter terms that are uh, accepted internationally, and this is very important so you can communicate and you can be on the same page. I hope these resources are good for you. I hope that you can make a good use. Uh, and I'm sharing them first with my subscribers uh, in the Ministry of Broadcasting, my newsletter, and then we'll, I'm going to open them to my subscribers in YouTube. 
so you guys can get some value out of this and we're going to continue adding more value for instance one of the things that we are working is on the broadcasting industry directory we have 132 companies with their respective websites for job opportunities that you can find so that's one thing then you can go also to the talent board this is the people that had subscribed to the talent board and are promoting themselves 113 but you if you are interested you can click here and also you can subscribe and put your name here so you can promote your uh, skills and your work uh, as a freelancer in different areas um Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this content and I hope uh, you can give me feedback about it. How can we improve it?